Well, then how do you know you can, you know, uh, a, a, a lot of things, because uh, my mother, when she was uh, working at Mel's, back in 1960, like 70 years ago, 70 years ago, that was a long time ago, basically she took the, she took the, the um, scrubbers off of the vents when they were, you know, where they were cooking the french fries and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you could smell the french fries all over the area. Don't you, we could, we'll go buy a restaurant. They still do that today. You can smell the fries and stuff Aww. cooking everywhere, and it drives you crazy. You make this the smell once you want to go in and buy I it. know. I still miss the, having the, the French fry wagon at Disneyland. I know, and it took and it you're out. going, what? Yeah, well, they had the best French fries. Because it was warm. Everybody would stop their political correctness because the Disney company supported the President of the United States. But they had the best French fries of yeah. all the McDonald's. First, I think they got a waiver on it. Care because they couldn't afford to. They were going to have to drop everybody. But um, no, but this is it. Just I mean, I, every you, you basically start treading on what the members of the press that support the president want, and they're not going to support you any longer. I mean, this guy today basically he said, "I got, I got one word for you," and he said, "F you." That's a lover of the president. He said, "You stay away from my." Blankety blank French fries and, I, and the pizza and the pizza and the soda pop and the soda pop. And no, it's stuff. not like I always have all that junk food, but you know, it's like I just think they should stay out of my kitchen. Well, no, they, they think they they want they want to tell you how to, they're, they're in schools menus now. Mm -hmm. Nothing, they're, everything they're doing is healthy. But here, oh, they're also in bringing food home from bringing food to school in uh, you now because they would prefer that parents no longer set. Uh, lunch boxes or bags to school anymore because they want to control the diets of the children. Are you serious? They're doing it for the good of the children. That also is getting a negative response. They say. Um, you know, uh, well, we're doing this for your own good. Well, here's a good one. Um, do you go in and eat hamburgers and french fries? Do you take people out to eat hamburgers and french fries? Don't tell other people. They said, the guy said, your wife looks like a, a milk train going by slowly as she goes by you, you know, and uh, she's telling us that you have to do this, you know, and then she's got, well, when my daughters were young, I knew they were starting to get heavy, so we had to do, we had to get them, a pediatrician said we had to do this. Then little kids are not allowed to do anything. Parents do I, I feel sorry for them because part of it is that the two kids actually look like they're built like their father. Yeah, they're going to be right? tall like him. You know, not you know, so but they take after their father, but um, uh, I'm just tired. Of, I mean, if you're looking at they're going to go after the Burger King, they're going to go after. Oh, they go after Jack in the Box. After right? Jack in the Box, all of these characters, everyone. Oh yeah, the Burger King because the the King wears the crown for Burger yeah, King. That's yeah, that's right. And uh, you know, and and also if you notice that they tend to attack industries of which are not providing money to the president and his party. If you provide a reset, provide, it's just like blackmail. We're going to shut you down unless you contribute to us or support our health care plan. Yeah, because they were on the tack of Apple. Yeah. They were on the tack of Google. Yeah, all these companies that were on their side until health care came along. Mm -hmm. When the health care thing came along, they jumped ship almost all of them. So he's lost everybody. I, I know, but um, I, I mean, it, it, it's just like, remember, if health care is allowed to happen, they can basically. Uh, order you to do anything. If they want to order McDonald's to serve nothing but uh, this lettuce, well, you know, think about food. Think about your soups that are low, low, low sodium. Oh. Yes, you can still add salt to them. No, they would. As long as you can still get salt. You can't get salt. Salt's being banned in some uh, Democratic strongholds are banning salt now. Oh, are they really? Yep. Yeah. You're going to find it difficult to buy salt. Even though the doctors will tell you you have to have salt. You cannot, in my case, I have to have a lot of salt because my temperature is too high. I really burn. I mean, I just, I have, I, I over salt everything in order to try to keep the salinity. Well, your body does need some salt. Yeah. It may not need tons of salt. But, for example, if you have a craving for, like, potato chips yeah. or french fries, maybe you need some salt. But especially, like, for example, when we go out to the beach and it's yeah. going to be really hot, yeah. you don't always have the bathroom close to you. Yeah. You don't always have enough water. So if you have... Um, something with some salt in it, you'll help retain that water. Well, well it depends. Longer. Like if we go, if, if we'll go like uh, an hour away from here or something, we'll be stopping McDonald's to get French fries and stuff before we go to the beach. 
because it's good for you. But um, but uh, it, it's just uh, the uh, here's a trick too though that um, that we have been to advanced trade shows where they served nothing but rabbit food to the press. You know, part of it is as much as I like rabbit food, it just does not stick with me. But it, it's rabbit food with no salad dressing. Remember? Well, I know. And part of it is is I burn through the food, so I need food. What every couple of hours? I need something. I don't need a lot. I just need something to eat. Yeah, but we, we, we went to an event. Actually, we went to an event that we didn't go to the breakfast because the breakfast was like seven in the morning, which means we had to be gone before six. Mm -hmm. But you could tell by all of the salt and pepper that was around, all the ketchup was around, all the salsa that was around. You knew what they were serving for breakfast, folks. Yes. We're, we're talking. It was not, you know, um, healthy stuff. You know, a lot of it's, we're talking sausages and, and eggs and, and hash browns. Oh, now and, that's making me hungry. Other than that in the microwave yeah, that's cooking well, right we're here next to us. Microwave cooking show there. We're just trying to say, you know, I mean, they said it's a foregone conclusion that Barack Obama will be president again. Uh, look at what he's doing. He's, he's basically telling you what you can eat when you go out to eat. He's going to tell you where you can eat now because he wants fast food places shut down. Uh, in minority neighborhoods across the country when they said, well, if we shut the places down, restaurants will move in. No, they won't. Mm -hmm. Grocery stores don't move into, black, into minority communities. Mm -hmm. They have to go out of the community to go shopping. They, you know, what will happen is you shut down the places where the people can go to eat, they'll go somewhere else to eat. Yeah. And they don't understand it because, well, we're doing what's good for them. Don't they understand that we're doing this for them? Mm -hmm. As they're sitting there eating French fries, mm -hmm. they're um, as of this morning, they're wanting to ban French fries from the uh, menu on, at, at the Capitol Hill, uh, you know, at the House and the Senate cafeterias because we have to set an example. Well, that did not work well from the Democrats in the state of Idaho. Mm -hmm. They basically got pissed off. They went, you know, Idaho, you know, grows the best French fried potatoes in the world. And you're basically telling the country no longer to eat French fries. He basically he's trying to do to the food industry what he did to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. So I got I, I actually, as they say, the fast food industry and the, or in the restaurant industry paid for my college education, folks. I grew up sitting underneath counters at restaurants and stuff, or sitting in booths, or sitting back door. You know, that's where I spent my life is in restaurants. I mean, I really, I, I like to have, I don't eat a lot of that. I mean, some things I'll eat too, too many. McDonald's um, fish sandwiches when they're available, but mm -hmm. I don't eat a lot of hamburgers. I do love their french fries, though, this super size french fries, warm. <laughs> so, yeah, but I know. You know, let's put it this way. I'm, I'm alive, and I basically, you know, I'm in fairly decent shape. I drink too much. Enough to stay awake at night, but I'm, I'm, I'm 15 pounds lighter than when I was younger. So, and I eat, I ate a very unhealthy diet. I'm getting ready to eat an unhealthy diet in about four minutes. So, is it really that? It's that close. I know. It, uh, oh, we're getting hungry right now. So, I mean, she can add more to it because she, you know, she just wants people. Well, everybody in the press wants this president to stay out of our eating habits. Well, it's not just the press; it's everybody. And with the press is very vocal about it, and they have a platform. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Right and left, the only thing the right and left agree on is this man can do, you know, waste your time doing something else, you know. Uh, you know, waste your time framing more members of foreign countries that don't agree with your policies. And and, and getting the head of hey, the Chinese. Hey, he's like two for two this month, isn't he? Yeah. Between so. um, Bin Laden and IMF. Yeah, so, you know, and he's, he's been, but uh, just stay out of stay out of people with personal diets. A person I mean, come shouldn't. Come on. Be, you know, it, we're talking this. Uh, it, 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 you, well, you're going to kill yourself if you eat this stuff. And your shoulders are going to get fat. Yeah, remember those special things they had at the White House that they said there were so many calories that yeah, basically you have a heart attack looking at them. They said that it would have killed a bull elephant. <laughs> you know, some white person said there were enough calories to, to kill a mastodon. <laughs> And they were, but we're different, we're adults. No, they're basically banning it. This isn't being done, that it's a ban on Ronald McDonald 
not only to affect the children, but to make sure. It affects you too. They want to remove all of the stuff from the menu that they think is bad for your health. Mm. I mean, God, we, we I love. Guess co coffee's probably next too, Mom. Yeah, everything. Coffee will be gone because I can guarantee it's bad for my health. It irritates my stomach. But I mean, I got I have coffee and chocolate together, so I have sometimes I have coffee and tea mixed together. But it, I have to stay awake, and caffeine just doesn't do it anymore. But you know, that's uh, I think this is a rant and rave on Ronald McDonald, the president. Stay out of McDonald's. Stay out of our kitchen. So until we, <laughs> until until he causes another food rant and rave, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. You can go to www.montebubble.net on the net. And yes, we started working on the rebuilding of the website last night. Yeah, so you're going to be noticing some changes. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.